and the gay community here and across the country is uniting. They're also thinking about the victims who are still in the hospital. Folks in the San Inez Valley held a candlelight vigil to honor the dead and those who survived. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair just got back. She joins us live with that story. Tracy. CJ, we spoke to people at support groups today and at a vigil, and all of them are feeling connected to what happened in Orlando. It struck me immediately that clearly we've had too many mass shootings of all sorts. At this vigil in Solvang, gay pastor Randall Day said we've grown too accustomed to mass shootings. And we've seen entirely too much violence in the world. And hate like this attack outside the Wildcat Lounge on New Year's Eve in 2012 that led to marches in Santa Barbara. In some cases, the perpetrators are latent homosexuals. That could be the case in Orlando. Well, my first thought is just that, you know, we've seen sort of violent crimes or uh, targeting gay folks, gay men particularly, where people will troll on some of these gay dating websites. Or you say, Patrick Lyra Kearns place. runs this proud young adult group at the Pacific Pride Foundation every Tuesday. All of our groups are here to be supporting people right now because these kinds of traumas ripple out. You know, and even though locally we may not have a specific instance of violence, we know that the, the hearing about it actually triggers a lot in our community. Juan Ramon Guerrero, Paul Terrell Henry. A pastor read the names of the victims in Solvang. One young bisexual woman came from Santa Maria to light a candle. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, whatever you may associate with is still untolerated in a lot of places and it's hard and it's sad and at the end of the day we are all people and we all should come together regardless of what you believe in. As long as it's not based on hate, just love one another. There will be similar vigils in Santa Maria tomorrow and also in Santa Barbara. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3.